With the release of Season 2 brings new reasons to play the game and new reasons to grind out the new Battle Pass, but there's 100 tiers on top of also events with that as well, so you probably want to know what's the quickest way I can get through this Battle Pass to get all the good stuff. Well, in this video, we're going to show you the fastest ways to rank up in Halo Infinite. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving our tips and tricks video when it comes to Halo Infinite. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe and let's not waste any more time begging and get right into the content here. So many of us know and recognize that like it's all about the challenge system right here, right? We gotta grind out these challenges to gain XP to level up your character through the battle pass and event passes and things like that. But there are specific techniques you can utilize. One of those, especially when you first start playing this is when you get the most XP possible is you definitely want to start utilizing your double XP boost within that first hour of playing. The reason why is because your first few games you get a lot of XP for just playing the game and so then you want to double up on that because every game I believe after the six, first six matches or so it's just 50 XP that you get per game. When you start out you get 300 and like 250, 200, things like that. So it does diminish over time. But once you complete a game and complete some challenges on top of that, you get double XP over the whole thing. You're going to be ranking up really fast. Now, another thing is also kind of analyze these challenges and kind of see like what mode would work best to complete these challenges. Because not all modes are treated equal when it comes to completing challenges. Like right here, I have get 10 energy sword kills, which is pretty rare to happen. Because like in regular Team Slayer games, there's only a few maps that have the sword on it. But one way you really can get those 10 sword kills is one to actually roll with a few players and also just jump right into fiesta because oftentimes in fiesta you can spawn in with a sword and sometimes your teammates can help drop those swords for you really help boost up that kill total and it really helps out it makes it a lot more enjoyable to grit these a little bit of a tedious challenges done now if the challenge tells you to do it I would absolutely avoid playing big team battle altogether. yes big team battle is an awesome mode they have awesome maps games awesome gameplay and stuff like that but the matches go on for so long, much longer than your regular Team Slayer games, which are usually about seven, maybe 10 minutes long. Big team battle matches could last up to 15 minutes if they go to the time limit, especially if it's a CTF game. But when it comes to game time, you mainly want to focus on your arena game modes like Tactical Slayer, Fiesta, King of the Hill, all your regular 4v4 game modes would be much better spending of your time. But also, like I said earlier, when you double up that double XP per match, you're gonna be getting more matches in playing arena than you would big team battle. But for that first hour, you guys are gonna be playing and using utilizing double XP, just don't play big team battle all together. Of course, once you get to like that 50 XP per match level, then big team battle is just fine to play. And also even within the 4v4 game modes, you want to probably focus more on team slayer. And if you can play tactical slayer, these matches go to about four or five minutes long, where team slayer is about seven minutes long. So you can actually get a lot more games in playing tactical slayer than you would anything else. So if you can do it that way, but obviously there are some specific challenges tied to specific modes or some specific types of weapons. And so you might have to go off and play some things that you might not really be super interested in playing. Also, you just want to take advantage of challenge swaps when you can, because sometimes you're going to get a challenge of like, it's just going to be completely random and circumstantial whether or not you can get it like the get enemy assassination or something like that. But don't be afraid to be too liberal when it comes to your spending of these challenge swaps because they pretty much hop up about every other rank when it comes to this as well so every other level on the battle pass you should be getting a challenge swap for the most part obviously some more space than others but you know don't be too afraid to utilize your challenge swaps to get these challenges completed to help rank yourself up a bit faster because as you can see i'm scrolling through here basically every other level on the battle pass earns you a challenge swap. So it's very nice to see that that's a resource that you can utilize with these challenges so you don't have to worry too much about like running out of swaps and having to spend money to get more. Now this next tip is a little counterintuitive to this entire video, but also guys, don't stress out about it too much, honestly. We have six months of this battle pass to go through, so don't stress too much about trying to get through it as quickly, as most efficiently as possible. We have time. Obviously, I want to get to the customization good stuff as soon as possible because the content within Season 2 looks awesome and I definitely want to utilize it. But these same tips and tricks can definitely be utilized with the event passes when it comes to the Fracture event pass that we're going to be getting here pretty soon as well. But overall, these tips will definitely help you when it comes to your general idea of how to progress through the battle pass 
pass and also get onto the new content as soon as possible in a relatively efficient way. If you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all on the next one. Peace out.